not a rush. Yeah, I, I'm still not a host. I'm still unable to share. Will be. Okay. Thank you. Probably because I hit the wrong person. Jerry's a co-host too now. <laughs> oh, no. I'll I'm take you off. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm afraid of that much responsibility. Phil's in charge now. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it sounded like you did start recording it, right? I heard that right. I he believe. Did. Yes. Perfect. So we've got enough. Phil, you can, uh, you're authorized to be a host. Good. All yeah. right. Via, via roll call, let's uh, make sure we get the attendance we need. Uh, Justin. He's not here. No. Chris De Silva. Yes. Greg Johnson. Yep. yep. Mary Branley. Yes. Hillary. I didn't see Brian. Yes. Mike Stevens. I know I saw your name on there, Mike. Uh, Rob. Rob Rillo. Yes. Attendance. Thank you. Jennifer. I didn't see. Wayne. I did not see. Yep, yeah, I'm here. Okay, Wayne. Thank you. Mark Anderson. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Oh, perfect. Matthew. Yes. Perfect. Nick. Nick here. Three guys starting Wednesday on all the railings out here. Uh, Ken. Let's see, Ken, Nick, Josh. I'm here, yep. All right. Perfect. All right, those are all the voting members. Uh, we have a quorum. Uh, let me read the governor's uh, read statement, and then we'll get this kicked off. So pursuant to Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, signed into law by Governor Healy on March 29, 2023, several pandemic-related relief provisions suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, GLC 30A, Section 20, were further extended until March 31st of 2025. All members of the public are invited to join the meeting virtually, either by computer or phone. If joining virtually, video and audio will be turned off for public participants unless otherwise stipulated by the chair. There will be time for questions from the public at the end of the formal meeting. If a member of the public wishes to speak, please raise your hand in the meeting room or on the computer. And when called upon, please state your name for the meeting minutes. Uh, let's see, so first item on the agenda, you'll stick with me for a minute here, is approval of the minutes of our last scheduled meeting, which was Monday, April 29th at 5 p.m. Everybody has seen those minutes. Everybody has had time to review them. Are there any comments or edits that anyone feels are necessary to be made before we take a vote? Not hearing any, I would accept a motion to uh, approve the minutes of uh, April 29th. So moved. Second. Thank you, Mary. Second, thank you. By a, excuse me, by a roll call. Uh, Justin is not here. Chris De Silva. Yes. Thank you. Greg. Yes. Mary. Yes. Hillary's not here. Brian. Yes. Mike Stevens. I think Mike joined and he went off to hide somewhere. Rob. Yes. Jennifer's not here. Wayne. Yes. I knew you were here. I'm a yes. Mark Anderson. Yes. Thank you. Anthony. Yes. All right. Matthew. Yes. Nick, uh, did Nick join yet? Yes, he did. Oh, all and right, good. Yes, uh, I'm okay with the approval of minutes. Perfect. Thank you. Ken, did Ken join? Yes. yes I see him. Perfect. And Josh. Yes. 
Thank you. Perfect. Okay, Phil, you own it. Great. Thanks, guys. And thanks for accommodating the new time building committee meeting. Um, so yeah. schedule update. So no changes since we last met as a committee uh, today being the design development um, approval from you all to submit the design development submission to MSBA. And then the, the next two milestones of submitting the 60% construction documents on July 29th, seeking your approval. And then for the 90% construction document submission, seeking your approval on October 28th. And in terms of more zoomed into the DD submission, again, no drastic changes since we last met seeking your approval today for that DD submission. Uh, one change on this zoomed in version is showing the early site package bid docs being available to bidders on Wednesday of this week, so the 22nd. And then um, with your approval today for the DD submission, we'll submit that tomorrow to the MSBA. They'll take a few weeks to review and we'll take a couple of weeks to respond to their design review comments. And then the last bit of schedule update. So this will be new to you all. So um, bid docs for the early site package. So when we say early site package, some some tree clearing, some ledge removal, some site stripping and, and kind of prepping over for the new building pad, as well as installing the new geothermal um, loops for the ground source heat pump system. So the idea is the, build, the, the bidding package for that is available to bidders on this Wednesday, May 22nd. The following Wednesday, May 29th at 10 a.m., we're going to have a pre-bid conference on site in the general area behind the school and, and meet with the site subs, et cetera, that would uh, be interested in bidding on the project and kind of step them through high level what it is. Their bids will be due to us on June 20th. And then our next building committee meeting would be to meet with you all on June 24th, Monday, June 24th. Um, to seek your approval on the low responsible bidder for that early site package. So very exciting. And then this date here, July 2nd, I haven't uh, confirmed this with Greg, but the thought is um, the soonest select board meeting after that June 24th building committee meeting would be when we would want to have that um, building committee approval over to the select board for their approval. Any questions on schedule up? Mayor, you got your hand raised, go ahead. Yeah, just, um, does it seem kind of tight to have the, the bid docs available and then a week later to have the conference? Is it is that what they're used to being on that type of a timetable, especially going into Memorial Day weekend and that? Yeah, I typically have it a week after the bid docs go live, yeah. Okay. So yeah. so May 29th is, is the Wednesday after Memorial Day weekend, I'm not concerned, yeah. Yeah, so the pre-bid conference isn't when they're putting numbers together and submitting a bid. It's just a quick little rundown of the project. It's okay. they, they got four weeks to put together a number for right. this. Yeah, I was, I was more just thinking actually being there and you know if that date isn't available and that is there a backup date too. But if they're yeah. used to it, then so be it. Yeah. And and has there been times where we've had a pre-bid conference and then we've you know gotten a call, hey, can we can we check out the site one more time? And, and we can arrange that with the school. It's it's not like their last chance to see the property. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. So, Greg, quick question. Is July 2nd a select board meeting date? or Currently, yes. But on tomorrow night's select board meeting is the question of whether to move that date because the it is it is 4th of July week. So, right. Um, we, sometimes the board keeps that date. Sometimes they move that date. So tomorrow night, the board may move it to the next week, which I think is the ninth. Yep. Okay. And that's fine. Okay. So that is schedule update, uh, project budget update. So since we last met late April, four invoices have been plugged into the project budget. Um, we have... The top one uh, from Sammy Oates, that's MVG's site surveyor for that additional site survey work covering the location where the ground source heat pump uh, loops are going to be installed in the amount of $7,150. Uh, Mount Vernon Group's environmental consultant, Lord Environmental, um, for the um, environmental soil testing when they were doing the geo uh, geotechnical borings on site. Uh, that's in the amount of $10,708.94. And then Mount Vernon Group and their geotech engineer for that, the soil boring exploration and the reporting on all that in the amount of $86,674.50. And 
and then Mount Vernon Group's Landscape Architect Studio 2112 um, for the effort for putting together the renderings and whatnot for the uh, relocation of the K through three playground in the amount of 16,500. And just showing where those budget line items are in the total project budget in the A&E section here, you got other A&E costs, 100K budget line item. That's where we're capturing uh, the effort for that re, uh, relocating the playground. And then the hazmat budget line item is capturing that Lord environmental uh, soil testing. And then the 300K geotech budget line item is capturing the geotech exploration, the borings and reporting. And then the site survey budget line item is, is capturing that additional site survey work. And then the remaining of the budget totaling that $83.6 million and pay to date going up to the 2,480K approximately. Any questions on the budget update? Okay. So next agenda item is the review and vote on MSBA design development submission. With that, I'll hand it over to Lewis and Dennis to step you guys through the content of the submission. No, oh, Chris is Chris has a conflict. So we got Lewis and Dennis from Mount Vernon Group. They've been they've been working with us um, in the most recent cost estimate round. You, I mean, you all know Dennis, but Lewis might be a new face. But uh, they've been working with us behind the scenes. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you all again. Um, so in lieu of uh, Chris being here, um, what you see before you is the general requirements is put forth by MSBA uh, for the standard design development submission. And you can see that, that there's an extensive list of, of um, line items uh, under general requirements that they uh, require and we have, they're all in the package. Um, and like every other submission with MSBA, we put this forward. We generally expect it to be uh, pretty much well received, um, but they will look over it very carefully. They will have questions and other things that we will respond to. And it's just part of an ongoing um, sort of system of making sure that um, all the boxes are checked. And um, with our experience doing this, uh, we've had very good, um, very good relationship working with them, making sure that this is, uh, this is what they're looking for. And uh, so we feel quite confident that it's gonna go uh, quite smoothly with minor, uh, if any, uh, variations or questions and answers. So any questions on any of the content? I know Chris had uploaded a bunch of the documents through the course of the past week to the, the Google Drive. Uh, Nick, go ahead. Yeah, um, I finally had a chance to assemble all the documents into like a couple files and go through them. I've got some very small things that I think are not worthy of interrupting the process now. Things like, uh, I won't even get into it, but I'm, I'm creating a, a PDF report I can share. I was hoping to have it done ahead of time. But so I, in general, when you have something like uh, an exterior wall detail and it has a full uh, stud depth spray foam insulation. If I have a question like, can we leave off like an inch or so of that so you can run wiring later? Does that impact the process as we're at? I mean, between now and the next set that the CDs and everything like, so that, that's the kind of, I'm like not looking to change much besides why is this little thing or why is this little thing? Um, I thought it was not the right time to get into that much minutia, but I would definitely have it ready to share this week for the next round, or we can talk about it again before mm -hmm. the next round. Is that is that okay? Yeah, perfect. Yep. Okay. That's perfect. There's yeah. there's so many documents, and I'm so impressed with how much you guys can produce. But um, I stuck to the mostly the architectural drawings, the stuff I'm I'm familiar with to to comb through. Nick, if you, this is Lewis from Mount Vernon Group Architects. Yeah. Uh, if you send those mockups. We will review them. Uh, things like taking one inch of insulation from the stud that may impact the Teddy report, the uh, energy analysis that our consultant does. All that is important. Yep. You no, know, it is. You you take one thing, you change one thing, it may impact a few other things. Yep. So you have to analyze that. Yeah, it's a good idea, but to have that space to run future wires. But 
we may not be able to do it because we need that amount of insulation to meet the new energy codes, which are very strict and difficult to meet. Yeah, th that extra exterior wall had four inches of outside insulation, and then the six inches between the studs. It was like an R sixty five, and I've I've not seen an R sixty five wall before, so I was like, wow, this is great. This is really really great, but uh, we're would be stuck with never being able to do anything behind the drywall again yeah. unless you ripped it all off. But that's that's why I'm getting to that level of question, and maybe it's a kind of thing where oh yeah, we're carrying it because we want to own it versus uh, we're carrying because we absolutely need it. So yeah, we, we typically carry because we need it. Uh... Or we're told by our consultants that we needed. Okay. Uh, but it's something we can talk and and you know look at and, and yep. have to for you. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Liz. Just a quick thing, Phil. Uh, yeah. So Nick, Nick, you're uh, you, you're right on regarding. Well, one, I appreciate the fact that you went and looked through everything. I looked through about half. I didn't. I haven't finished yet. Um, but just so that everybody's aware, just because we're making this submission today uh, at this point in time does not mean that everything is cast in concrete and uh, that's it, end of discussion. Uh, there will be lots. Now, are we going to add two classrooms a month from now? No. You know, we're going to change the complete facade of the building? Probably not. But will there be changes made? Absolutely. And we will continue through that uh, through the entire design phase. So uh, I, I hope nobody feels that this package going out today, this is it, final, signed off, said and done. Uh, there is room for change. Uh, I don't mean drastic, but things like, like Nick's question, that could be looked at. Whether that could be done or not, I don't know. But to Lewis's point, that's got to be asked. I, I don't know. It does seem like a lot of insulation. But then again, the new codes are pretty damn restrictive. So that's all I want to say. Just so everybody's aware, this is not the end of the road today. So when you're given approval, don't think that you cannot ask a question moving forward. Uh, Ken, you get your hand up? Go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Jerry. Um, I appreciate that. I And I, I did, uh, I took maybe an hour and a half or so yesterday to try to, to download the documents and get them more organized. It was quite quite a package and I, I don't doubt that all the boxes are checked. Um, Mount Vernon Group has done this before and knows what what uh, MSBA is looking for and that that is fantastic. As far as what's in those boxes that are checked, I have an idea, but I, I don't know you know what what Nick says about the exterior wall um, piques my interest and seeing the we had a, a move of the playground from one side to the other uh, after getting some input from the facility people. And that was that was $16,000 to make a design change. So a pre-construction retrofit. Um, how concerned should we be about having further pre-construction retrofits um, if we have changes to the design in response to comments and review? Yeah, I guess the way I would answer that, Ken, is if if the design review comments are are minimal to what Nick was bringing up, then I wouldn't be concerned. But if yeah. they're if the design review comments like similar to the playground relocation, where you're redesigning grading and underground stormwater systems and and all that stuff and going through options, that's a different story. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I I'm pretty sure, but. Um, crazier things have happened. But I think the review of the documents as they currently are, I think people will see that the design that's on them is the design that was presented to the community. Um, and it's now kind of getting detailed out. So what do you think, Ken? Does that answer your question for the most part? That's probably the best that Phil can actually give yeah. an answer at this point yeah I, I i do worry that changes get more expensive and well, yeah. as we go through the profits or or less likely right we do get things that are locked in um i i'd have to say ken at this point this is the design development um 
submission. And so any changes that are made uh, from this point on are going to be de minimis. Uh, and they're going to be, you know, within the scope of uh, of the development of the 60% 60, 60 set. So we'll, we'll be constantly working to get that 60% set where it has to be. And then after that, get that to where the uh, final bid set has to be. So this pins down everything. There's no room for any general or large scale uh, design changes. This is the develop the design development set. And in terms of what Nick said, those are the types of um, questions that you know we have to answer and look at. Uh, the team has worked diligently um, in trying to meet the the Teddy requirements, and um, so. Uh, Amounts of insulation, amounts of uh, window openings, types of uh, types of window frames, and over so much has been impacted by the uh, by the Teddy requirements. Um, so it's the team has been um, quite uh, careful in making sure that all those requirements are met. Um, if other minor and, it, and I think Nick will agree. I mean, uh, Nick will agree that it's it, these are minor things that we can we can discuss that won't have an impact or shouldn't have an impact in any great deal. We're talking about maybe at some place uh, we look at the use of uh, you know getting some high hats in, furring out a wall, making you know creating some uh, places where we see um, a good spot for making. Uh, a little chase for some wires, but that's that's not um, really a design change. That's that's a, a design. That's part of the massaging of the uh, entire final set of documents. Okay. And Lewis, if you, yeah, uh, please, and please, you uh, in terms of the checklist when this gets submitted to MSBA, they have a, a checklist for every module that we go through, and they ask for things more like. You know, make sure you have your elevation marks on your floor plans. Uh, make sure you coordinate between all the mechanical systems and architectural. Uh, make sure you de have the DESI report. Um, make sure you've gotten approvals from different agencies. Um, they want to see calculations, electrical load calculations, structural calculations, um, civil calculations. So, um, and we go through those and we assign them to our consultants and we go through the list, make sure we have the, the, the written part and also all the items that are called off for in, in the drawings that we cover all those. So we go through everything that they want to see on a drawing and make sure that they, we have that in the drawing. So, and, and if we miss something, they'll come back with it when they review and say, oh, you know, provide this in the next submission. And we provide that and respond to them. So that's pretty much the process. Um, Josh. Thank you. Um, so I was just going to say that I'm less worried for the group anyways, I'm less worried about the MSBA. Um, you know, they, they, their review is very prescriptive. Um, their comments are going to be very minor. Uh, some of them will be a little silly if I'm being honest. Um, I think the bigger issue is, uh, that we as a committee need to be comfortable with the design because design development once you've gotten to this point where you're submitting on it things really shouldn't move that much uh you really shouldn't be making major design changes can you absolutely should you no um and you know the definition of a major design change for example if you wanted to change flooring from you know uh composite tile to sheet goods that you can do uh after this vote um but major design changes, uh, changing your wall cavity systems, not not Nick's point, but major changes, things that would impact energy modeling, um, you know, major changes to the plans, anything that would change the site plan, uh, you know, anything that requires any kind of ad services, re-engineering, redesign from uh, Mount Vernon Group, those things really should be behind us at this stage. Thanks, Josh. Good clarification. Thank you. Phil, I think you got it. Or is 
Has Dennis got more to do or? No, we're just seeking a motion to approve the oh, submission. Okay. Oh. oh, all right. I thought there was more uh, conversation. Okay, so I would certainly entertain, I'm not sure of the wording on this one, uh, in, in in simple terms, and, and we can certainly write the motion up correctly. Uh, I'm looking for a motion to uh, move the MSBA design development submission uh, forward. Would anybody be interested in making a motion? I'm happy to make that motion. Thank you, Mary. Is there a second? Seconded. Ah, perfect. Thank you, Mike. All right, by a roll call. And again, this is the, that you are approving the motion to move the MSBA design development submission. All right, Justin, not here. Chris, Silva. Yes, yes. Greg. Yes. Mary. Yes. Hillary, I don't think it's here. Brian. Yes. Mike Stevens. Yes. Rob. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Wayne. Yes. Thank you. I'm a yes. Mark Anderson. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Matthew. Yes. Nick. Yes. Ken. No. Okay. Josh. Yes. Thank you. That's all for the voting members. Uh, all yeses, one no. I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, oh. If I... 14 yeses, one no. Go ahead. Uh, I'm just wondering if, if there's any more discussion that's needed um, to show the... Uh, Unanimity to show uh, within the um, within the town and within your your committee. Uh, I think it would be very important for MSBA to see that. So, um, if there's anything um, while we're still here that um, can answer any questions that Ken might have about the contents, because what you're voting for is the contents of uh, this. Um, I, I'll stay here all afternoon to uh, try to to walk you through it, Ken, because this is uh, an important step that the town is taking. And um, you, as a, a member of the committee and a citizen of the town, have every right to question it and get the answers you feel you deserve. So if you want to, uh, if there's anything that we can do to uh, gain unanimity in, uh, in your committee, um, I'm here for that. Jerry, do you want me to address that? Yes, go ahead, Ken. All right. Yeah, and actually, Dennis, thank you. I, I appreciate your thoughtfulness on this. I, I thought about this a lot, and I think actually unanimity um, on this question would really undermine the credibility of the committee, because with less than a week of review of the drawings, it looks, I would think it would look externally like rubber stamping. Um, I haven't heard you know, I, I don't imagine as busy as things are towards the end of the year that that Rob and, and Brian Haas and the teachers have had a chance to, to double check the content of it. Um, I know I haven't had a chance to pull things up until last night. Um, has Justin looked at this? I don't know. Maybe it has a switch over system that's going to drive Justin crazy. Um, he's already he told us very early on how uh, simultaneous heating and cooling are very important to him. So I think if, if this came across as unanimous, where it's obvious that people would not have had a chance to review the drawings, uh, that could undermine the credibility. I, I, you know, I, my only that's an interesting perspective, Ken. I, I don't argue it either. I, I do not disagree. Uh, interesting perspective. Uh, Josh. So, um, Ken, I, I certainly don't want to pressure you either way, and I respect what you're saying. Uh, I would say in my experience, it is extremely rare for MSBA to receive a non-unanimous vote from the from any building committee. Um, 
it, it, they they do look for that um, unanimous support, and I think they would want to. They, I I would be shocked if they didn't come back and say we want to better understand why there is dissension among the ranks. Um, and I'm not suggesting that should change how you approach this. I will say if it makes you feel comfortable. Um, I did my own review. I provided the design team with a lot of comments. A lot of them were about things like maintenance and durability. Um, it is. It, it would take us probably 20 hours to go through it all here today, and I don't want to subject anybody to that. Um, and I would encourage people to do the same thing, and I don't see this vote as precluding that from occurring. Um, that's why I tried to frame it as, unless you think you're going to find something that's going to result in us making major changes to the design of the building or the footprint or the site plan, I think we're okay to, at least in my opinion, I think we're okay to vote to support this with the understanding that um, we have some time to do that review and get those comments back to the group. Now, I was also being clear that I don't think we have a ton of time. Um, you know, I think spending another two or three weeks reviewing this and getting those comments to uh, the team makes sense. And I think that's doable for Mount Vernon Group to be able to turn that around. But as we roll into construction documents, I don't think we should be spending months um, you know, uh, it, it, obsessing over the details or, or even things that aren't detailed, things that are very important and major issues. Um, so just just my my thoughts anyways. That's uh, very well put, Josh. And uh, again, uh, I meant to uh, compliment you on your, your last set of uh, thoughtful comments that you made earlier. Uh, it is, it's a submission and it's a submission that's, uh, it's, um, Thoroughness is predicated on the uh, the checking of the boxes that all those things that all of us that have been um, in in this um, this in the roles that I have been and, and Lewis and and Phil have been uh, throughout this process for many years with MSBA, they're asking that the uh, you know the committee say, uh, yes, uh, this is good for the town. Let's keep keep the uh, project going and um, and submit this package, which is is uh, thorough and complete. Now, um, I've uh, frankly, uh, I've never uh, I've never heard an argument quite exactly like yours, um, but I want to stress the importance of, uh, as as uh, Josh so uh, so clearly put, that if anything is going to raise a question with MSBA, um, it's going to be because it it's never in my experience happened that it, there hasn't been unanimity about making voting to make um, to make a uh, a design development submission. I mean, if, if all of a sudden if somebody said, well, you know, you took there's a whole wing of the building that isn't made, that isn't, hasn't been designed or that we ask for that you haven't put in there, that's a different thing. But this is, we've done all the work up to this point. They gave us a questionnaire, um, and which is a list that we carefully go through. We've done it many times. As a matter of fact, um, since this particular system has uh, been um, implemented by um, MSBA, we were uh, did some of the very first ones. And so um, we've been going through this for many years and uh, we're quite pleased with the, the completeness and thoroughness of the requirements of the design development package and what the committee is uh, voting on is that there's a complete and thorough design development package that's being put forward to the MSBA that fulfills their requirements. So again, um, if you have a, if you have something, and I really want to hear it, Ken, if you have something that the, you have a problem with what I just said, approving a submission that fulfills all the requirements, I'd love to hear it. I'll spend the entire afternoon here, Ken, with you. I respect you, you're a taxpayer, you're a member of the committee and you you represent the cities of uh, citizens of Maynard. I respect that. But I also ask you respect me 
in when I tell you that all we're asking for, what this is and what every town does with this is not use it as, um, it's not, I'm not going to say it. What every town does with this uh, is to make sure that everything they've asked for is in the package. It's been put forward and they, they um, are excited about and um, looking forward to moving on to go to the next steps that will produce in a timely manner, because time is money, um, a set of contract documents that will be successful. We have always been below budget. Uh, in, in the M You can look at our record through the MSBA, uh, but you know, part of being below budget is shooting for the, all the dates that you need to shoot for. Um, and um, so I, well, we worked, we got some very thought, you know, we got some very thoughtful comments from um, the administration of the school after we, you know, the committee had time to look at it. Really good, thoughtful comments about the playgrounds. We spent a lot of time doing that, made us feel and made the committee and those that were concerned feel very confident about this package. So I haven't heard anything um, solid about, I, I just don't understand um, your point because it was sort of a circuitous argument. So if you'd like to clarify it, I'd love to hear it. Yeah. All right, Dennis, I'll, I'll do what I can. Um, so you mentioned the package being thorough and complete, and I, I don't have any doubt on that. Um, but there's there's three things. It's thorough, complete, and reflects the needs of the town. Um, and how would well, we know that? It not no, because that's very important. Where does first of all, um, where does it uh, where does it not? Because I'd like to know that because those are the things we can talk about, Ken. Well, yeah, rather than guess, delaying a project, that's those well, are some of the things you we know, can talk about. Yeah, it's we it's don't know fun. that it doesn't. We don't know that it does. We don't and know if it does or doesn't. What are you talking listen, about? Listen, I am not going to approve and say that this is part of what the town needs when we have less than a week to look at the package. End of story. All right. Um, so, I, yeah, um, we're not going to get Ken's approval. Um, so I, yeah, my so thought we can, is... We can have another meeting in two weeks and yeah, I don't give wanna, folks a yeah. chance to look at it. And then... No, I, no, you, you guys, know. like we're like we've said time and time again, you, your they review can. isn't Tell stopping me, what here. Exactly, what exactly the, the, the specific items you'd like to look at? And I will stay up all night tonight and go over them one by one with you because I'm sure the town will <laughs> be happy if you're happy. And so let's do that. You give me a list right now. We'll go and I'll, I with you will go over each one of those items. If you do you want to go over all the architectural plans, I don't have the expertise in structural engineering or mechanical engineering or civil engineering that I'm sure you probably have. Or like, I'm just an architect, but I've I've been doing it for 50 years, so I have some understanding about what all those things are. So I think I can answer most of your questions. So if you'd like to enumerate your questions, I would love to answer them, Ken. I really would. Can I just jump in real quick? That's Jeff. what we're here for. We're here to serve you. We're your consultant. So I want to serve you, Ken. Tell me what it is I can do for you, and I promise it will get done. It'll yeah. get done today. Give me two weeks to review the set. What do you need to review? What are the items you need to review yeah. in your expertise? Tell me what they are, and I'll, I'll, I will answer them with you. Jerry, Jerry I'm going to jump yeah. in real yeah. quick. I'm going to. Yeah. And, and Dennis and, and Ken. Um, you know, if you guys want to have a, a discussion again offline, that's certainly okay. Um, I think at this point, the, uh, the vote stands as taken. Yep. Uh, right. Good, bad, or indifferent for submission. Um, this is what we're going to move forward with, and uh, we need to move on. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, it, when, I, when MSBA sends me the, the question as to what happened, I'll explain it to them, and we'll get through it. Yeah. Yep. And Ken, again, I'm open, you have my phone number, and if you don't, uh, stay on and I'll give it to you. And I'll spend the afternoon talking to you about every bit of it. I absolutely respect you as a taxpayer and a concerned member of the committee. So I don't want you walking away from this to feel feeling unfulfilled. So mm -hmm. please give me a call as soon as this is over and I'd love to talk to you. 
or we can do a Zoom meeting and maybe look at plans one by one, whatever, whatever will help you to make a decision when MSBA asks about it, you can say, oh, I've had the time to review the plans now and uh, I'm all for it. I'm, you know, I'm your consultant and I'm here to do what you guys need. Can I actually just ask a quick question of Phil? If, is the time frame for MSBA to get back to us gonna fall in line with Ken having a couple weeks? And yes. then the MSBA comes back and says, whoa, 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 we see this. We have a couple of questions, but was your big question? Then it would have been about two weeks. <laughs> yeah, Possibly. no, it's okay. it's all going to fall in that general time frame. That's why I said it, it, we'll work through it. Okay. All right. Thanks, Phil. Thank you. All right. We're good. Okay. Go ahead, Please Phil. Please don't hesitate to call. I think it, in, uh, my, all my contact information is in the possession of the committee. So please give me a call. it would be a pleasure to talk to you. Okay. Ahead, I think I think the next one is new business. Am I right? Yeah. I so, don't have any new business. Oh, you? I don't have no. any. So there's none. So next is next meeting is June twenty fourth, uh, five p.m. I think we had announced that earlier, so everybody should be fully aware of that. Um. Any other questions or issues? I can't see everybody on the screen. If there are none, I would accept a motion uh, to adjourn. You make that motion. Thank you, Mary. Second. Second. Was that Jennifer? Second. Yep. Okay, thank you. All right, via roll call. Uh, Justin is not here. Chris is over. Yes. Greg. Yes. Mary. Yes. Hillary, no. Brian. Yes. Mike Stevens. Yes. Rob. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Wayne. Yes. Thank you. I'm a yes. Mark Anderson. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Matthew. Yes. Nick. Yes. Ken. I'm a yes, Jerry. Thank you. Um, Josh. Yes. And I think Charles is on board. Charles, are you uh, okay to adjourn this meeting? Unless you've already left. Anyway, I think maybe Charles already left. Yeah. Anyway, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Charles. And uh, that's all the remainder of the voting members. That is it. It is unanimous. Meeting is a